save the queen. Initially, when you came out with the whole Eurobomb thing, it's because everyone in Europe sucked, and the guys that were good were ducking everybody. But since then, some you know that's changed. The Klitschko's have, have shown their dominance, and Triple G's come, and now Kovalev's on the scene. But the one thing that's remained consistent is that the guys from the UK are still dog shit. So I think you should point it as British bums now going forward, not so much Euro bums. <laughs> okay, okay. And, and mean, one you know, last thing, man. Listen, for, people for have Stewart to learn and how to and those guys to be taking credit for a Russian, man, that doesn't make sense. That, that's bullshit, man. That's like me here in Canada cheering for, uh, for an American and saying that, you know, I'm a proud North American. That's horseshit, man. You know, those, those countries are big enough that, that they cheer for their own guys. So, so that's all I wanted to say, and then I'll, uh, I'll call back later. Jose, don't forget to call back, because I had something to tell you. Mm. What? That's Ness's right. fault, though, Jose, because Ness used the word war. Uh-oh, Jose, don't go, because your, your nemesis just called. All right, cool, man. I'll, I'll stay. Don't go, Jose. Hold on. Stuart, what's no, up? No, no, I'm here. Okay, I'm here. Can I just make a comment? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Is this coming? Is this coming from a Canadian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was it, was these comments coming from a Canadian? But yeah. don't yeah, forget but the Canada. I'm not the coattails of Americans and saying, "Oh, North America is the greatest boxing mecca, man." Horseshit. I know. I know Canada sucks right now. And I'll tell you one thing: the last greatest British fighter that existed was Canadian, my friend. Uh, Lennox Lewis wasn't a part of Britain. Was a part of Canada. Can I just educate you? Lennox Lewis was born in London, lived there till he was 11 years old. His brother still lives here. So at the end of the day, he is British. And let's talk about Canadian boxers, shall we? Um, well, that's not what it's one, about. Your best one it, is it, a Heighting. He's from Haiti. You have to, and the second best one is a Frenchman, and the third best man one is a Romanian. Have a word with yourself, will you? Every time a Canadian comes to England, he gets his ass whooped. And every time an well, Englishman that, comes that's, to that's America, point, though, he gets man. his ass that's whooped. That's not the point. Like I said, mate, Americans have come to England and gone back home in a coma, so that, it, it goes both ways, Nesta. <laughs> Don't get bad no, no, at me. No, Calzaghi. Even, hey, even, even the great Sugar Ray Robinson come to England and got his ass whooped. Randy Turner. Mohammed Cassius Clay in his prime got put on his ass. That's the cheat to, to beat Henry Cooper. So let's talk about the fighters that come to America and get what? And come to England. That's fine, Stuart. But, but if, you're, if your uncles and your grandpa and all that heard you sucking Russian dick, they'd be disappointed in you, my friend. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you, Jose, because you're actually big enough Canadian boxers. I'll tell you what, just stick to your MMA. Go, go and look at your George St. Pierre poster and forget about boxing because <laughs> Canadians are bums. <laughs> Hey, man, I'll, I'll be the first to admit it. Of course we're bums, man, but I at least speak the truth, man. You can't realize it, man. Said, you got to figure it out yourself. Yes! I can name you 10 British fighters. 10 yes! British fighters that can come to Canada. Yes! And, uh, what, what it's your true, fight? Stuart. Jose is telling the truth, and you, my friend, are certainly most not. What you want about? Like Jose's I said, at the end of the, the day... Truth. He, he wasn't comparing bums. Canadian and boxing Pascal, to British Pascal boxing Pascal at all. He didn't do that. His ass handed to him. We all, we all by frotch. We all know what happened to Butte. <laughs> that man will never be the same. Beat his spirit out of him. Like I said, stick to your ice hockey and stick to your, your, your game, <laughs> mate. Boxing is hey, not hey, for you. Hey, Stuart, but you're not getting the point. He never compared Canadian fighters to to UK fighters. He didn't do that. He's we, basically saying that. My point is. He's from Canada. He, he can't say anything about anyone's fighters because they're bums. <laughs> Look at that undercard we watched last. Like, fucking hell. I'd put a glass eye to sleep, they would. Absolute bums. So, hey, wasn't that undercard? Didn't that undercard? Hey, hey, B, didn't that undercard have Jojo Dan versus uh, Busy A? Jo Jojo Dan. Sounds yeah, like an uh, Irish fucking traveller fight. Hey, it was a good scrap, my friend. It was a good but scrap. You know, like I said, you know... Every time I come on here, I'll get UK bums. But give us two or three years. You, we've got some big names coming through. And um, it's, we're going to be talk of the town, mate. Stuart, why are you acting like boxing just started? Give us two or three years. We got some... Dude, what happened to the rest of your life and your grandfather's life? You guys have been sucking for a long time. Let's just leave it at that and move on with the show. Suck it. 
<laughs> you guys don't really do uh, listen, like champions I said, like that. Going on by t- like I said, you're going on by performance. Eddie Hearn keeps sending your bums over. He ain't sending his best fighters over. He's sending I mean, Lee what Kirby. happened to Bellew yesterday? Devin Alexander couldn't even get what, out. What happened to Bellew yesterday? He is. And then he's grabbing Reese, the Hobbit, where he let Broner beat up on him and Tony Stewart, the bummer Bellew. Stuart, never I mean, mind that. Yourself. Never mind that, Stuart. What happened to Tony last night? Tony Ballou is an average fighter. Let's get it straight here. So, I mean, he's no Carl Frotch at all. Whose fault George is Gross. that? Just, Whose fault he, is he that, that these ghost. are the men? Whose fault is that that these are the men that your fucking promoter, Eddie Hearns, or whoever else from over there sends over there to represent your country? It's not our fucking fault. You send bums, we kill bums. Listen, send some listen. good ones then. Listen, he sent him to the store. Take, it's about money, mate. He, then fighters were done. Adrian Broner beat Gavin Reese, and Gavin Reese came to England and got beat by Crawler. Don't you dare talk so about Gavin up. Reese because at I least mean, he came over here. Um, at least he came over here and fought Broner, unlike Ricky you know, fucking Burns. Tyson all your good fighters, all your so called quote unquote good, 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 good fighters, to, they're uh, scared to come over here. Beat a pound for pound fighter in Don Curry, knock the shit out of him. Stuart, so we, bottom we've line got, is no, we've the so-called coming over to America listen, causing Stuart, upset. Stuart, you bottom line is the so-called good European fighters. They don't even come over here. Ricky Burns listen, don't dude, come this way. Over there now. They're not going to come back listen, this they're way. They're European. Ruslan, do you know what I mean? Yo, and that's the, the point that I was making. That's the point that I was making. That's the point that I was making. That you're in, in, in you're in London. Why are they going to come to America? You're in London, and you're fucking talking about. Ruslan, who's from fucking somewhere in Russia, and so is Kovalev. So that's, you said European. Make your mind up. You need to learn some geography, Nesta. I know you. I know you, American education sucks, but come on, man. At least use Google or something. You can't use the word European if you're not going to include the Russians, Nesta. That's your Thank fault. you. But, Thank but, you. But, but, Bebe, hear me out, Stuart. Give me one second so that you can understand because this is going on and on because you chose not to listen. Just hold on, Bebe. I'm just simply making the point that Jose was making that. He is so desperate for a European fighter that they're reaching to Russia. He lives in London. He lives in the United Kingdom. This guy is from fucking British somewhere, wherever the fuck that may be. Ruslan, Sergey, them motherfuckers are somewhere totally different. Hey, bigger, let's, 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 you made me laugh last week on the show when we was talking about American fighters. I, I was going through the list, and in the background, there was like a little little mouse going, "What about Rigandau? What about Rigandau? What about?" And the reason I didn't answer you because he's not even American; he's Cuban for crying out loud. Well, actually, that's what technically, I'm saying. technically, technically, he's about. technically he's a U.S. refugee. If you didn't know, technically, all your fighters are refugees and immigrants. Well, All this one is a, a, technically a U.S. refugee. He he doesn't get a blue passport. He gets a sky blue one. It says it's refugee on the top. Like I, said, you, like I said last week, you, you, you get an immigrant, put a stars and stripes on his shorts and claim him as one of yours and then claim to be the best and call everyone bums. Like I said, give us two or three years, mate. We'll have we'll have handfuls of champions. We've got four already. Okay, He's so w- when do you, like when said, do you expect Darren Barker to get back in the ring with anybody on this side of the line? Golovkin. Huh? All, all, all the most dangerous fighters Stuart, out there. Why are you going on and on? Let me talk to you. While your fighters are hiding. All right, let me talk to you now because you just talk. You don't listen. When do you expect Darren Barker to come back around here and fight any any fighters across this side of the pond? He's already he, he fought his last fight in America. No, when, when do you expect him back is what I said. Why is he going to go back to that bingo hall that was empty when he can... Come to England and fight in front of fifteen thousand. Oh, exactly. So you you rather again. him not fight anyone of note because he will lose the title because you that's what you do. Y'all coddle fighters, fight, man. Y'all coddle fighters, man. Y'all coddle and Ricky Burns. That man is a grown ass man. Let him out of shell. Let him come out here and defend himself. Don't so why don't your fighters him? come and come and challenge our champions in our place then? Who? Who? Like Remendo, Raimundo Beltran who got robbed yeah, over there? Fight. Like Did him? Did see Andre Ward jumping on no planes to come here and fight, do you? Shit, Carl Frotch, isn't that the guy that damn near robbed George Groves the other night? That was a horrible fucking stoppage. What I'm saying is though, like I said, your fighters are not keen to come over here and challenge our champions either. We have no need. We have no need. 
Give us, give us the reason. Are we going to go to the UK and become more famous? Or does a UK fighter come over here on HBO and all of a sudden he's internationally known? You guys really don't count. Why can't you get that? Don't count. What are you on about? Don't count. That's why. That's why most of the most shows are on about our fights. You know, all, all you lot can talk about is Pacquiao and and, and Mayweather. I don't want to talk what, Pacquiao, my that's friend. What got. Like I said, I'm happy with what we've got coming through. Like I said, do you honestly think um, you've got? You won't uh, put your money Justin, against Justin none of them. You won't put your money on none of those guys. We've got gold medalists coming through. Look at all these 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 Burks in the chat. None of them know what they're talking about. All hiding behind fake pictures. All little trolls. None of them know anything about boxing. They're telling them to shut the fuck up for me. Because in the day, all right, we hold have on, hold on, Stuart. Fight. Hold on, hold on, Stuart. Let me just address some of these comments in the chat now that you brought it up. Money May. First of all, last week I made it clear that I didn't watch Frog Groves. I went. I told you I was going to watch it. I said they sent me a clip of the stoppage. So clearly, watching just the clip of the stoppage. I'm not going to be able to give you a fair assessment. But after watching that fight, yeah, I don't agree with the stoppage. I think that they should have, after Groves being able to drop Frotch and basically dominate him, landing that right at will, I think they should have let him get his shit together. Right, that, that fight was massive, that Frotch Groves. I mean, all over the world, people are talking about that fight. I mean, but, but we, actually, we made it's big not fights. Hey, Fury would have been the same if that had gone through. Frampton Quick would be the same. So, you know, we've got some good fighters. You just hate us for some reason. I don't know what it is. I don't know why you hate us. Like, like I said, maybe it's just jealousy because uh, obviously we created your No, country. it's not jealousy. I'm going to end it on this note, Stuart. I'm going to end it on this note. Look, Ward Frotch, it wasn't what Groves Frotch was because Ward is levels above Frotch and made it look too easy so it wasn't a competitive fight. Frampton Quig, it would be a competitive fight because it's two fucking Euro guys going at it. Frampton versus Rigandow, murder. And Frampton, uh, what Quig versus Rigandow, <laughs> coffin. So you, you know, you pick your fucking poison. Yeah. Anyway, uh, MV2, I've what's said, up? I've said what I've had to say. The Canadian said his piece and did a runner, like they always do. So, you know, that's me out of here at the end of the day. Um, I still love I've you though, to, Stuart. But I've come to stick up for UK fighters, and that's it, really. I, I still love you, Stuart. I mean, it, this show wouldn't even be the same if you stopped calling it. Everybody tweets about you all the time, but uh, you know, it's just if you take your best fighters and we take our best fighters, we're gonna win all the time. That's just how I feel. But that's my opinion. Yeah, we're well, big, big country. Of course, you're gonna have more fighters than us. <laughs> <laughs> and you're back. Let me see if MV2, MV you want to get in on this or what? Stuart, you're a good man. I like you, mate. <laughs> you you represent your country proud well done. <laughs> ah, man. Yeah, fucking... Just let me say a quick thing. I think American fighters have went downhill the last 10 years. If you, so guys, I, can't, so if you guys can't see it, then you're blind. You need to Thank import... You. Nah, no worries, Stuart. You need to import Russians. Could you fucking imagine that in the, during the Cold War in the 1980s? With MV2, don't you get it? That's exactly what Jose's point was, that UK, United Kingdom, these the guys like Stuart that actually live in UK are so desperate that they're cheering for Sergey, who lives in Russia. You understand? Yeah, but Wait, Nez, you, don't hear, you don't hear like you don't hear you don't hear Americans like and that's listen. But exactly. wait a minute, wait a minute, exactly. Exactly. This fucking look, See at the end of the day, boxing is a primal, simple sport. They fucking look like me. I don't look nothing look like Adonis Stevenson. And to be honest with you, it's not a racial thing. But if you guys want to make it a racial thing, we'll fucking go there. They fucking looks like me. He's he's white. <laughs> And he's balding. Yo, no, man. Come on. We killing this conversation, man. Yeah, yeah you I guys want to talk know, about I place, say Euro bum. That's just part of my my whole personality, man. Yeah, you guys dude, are going out of control with this shit. Nez, I, just, I know you've got a bunch of calls. You're the best show in fucking boxing. I just want to make 180 seconds worth of points and I'll get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so, as long as we're not going to talk about this whole American European shit again. Nah, you took it there, Nez. I'll fucking oh, bring it back. All right, go ahead, yep. man. Go ahead. I want to make two be points. The Euro, the Euro debate uh, edition. Go for it. Kovalev. Who unleashed him 
to the boxing world to these fucking main appeased. events did main events unleashed him. Well, they fucking need a prize, maybe two, because he's a fucking beast. He's an animal. Ismail Salik, anyone who knows boxing, a couple of years ago he had a, a lot of hype behind him. But he a doesn't couple have a chin, years ago, does he? okay, MV2, I'm glad we're talking boxing. A couple of years ago, don't don't tell me that you fell for the same bullshit Max Kellerman was kicking every other fucking listener or, or, or viewer. Because Ismail Salat was nothing. And once he got knocked out by Grachev, it was why would we think that Kovalev isn't going to do the same? So now you're going to praise Kovalev for doing something he should have did? You can't, you can't blame Kovalev for being ducked. He's being ducked just as Golovkin's getting ducked. I'm not, just I'm as, not blaming him for anything. It. I'm just not going to praise him for knocking out a guy who was winning a fight and then got knocked out with one punch. Clearly, that guy has no fucking chin. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and, 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 and look, and look, at that point, we didn't know if Ishmael Shalak didn't have no chin or that was just a one punch thing. But then he comes in and does it again. What's the difference? So when why are we going to all of a sudden give it credit? There were four minutes of the fight gone. Winning the fight, man. His footwork was fucking all over the place. He was fucking... He wasn't boxing. He was doing the hopscotch. He was yes, fucking so for four who, who minutes, man. What are we man. talking about here? Ismail Salik. If you look at him, yeah. he was just... He was all over the place, mate. From the beginning. I like Salik as well. But he was nervous. He was scared as soon as he went into that ring with that monster of a man. Fucking Kovalev. He's a... Oh, man... I don't know why you don't like Kovalev. What the fuck? I didn't, with say, I didn't say I didn't like him. I'm just not going to fucking praise him for doing what he should have did. Did he look good doing it? Yes. But don't don't make it seem like it's much a lot as this great fighter. Adonis or Kovalev? Who have you got in this? Listen. See, that's the problem. You guys swear y'all know me when y'all don't. I would pick Kovalev. And I'm going to tell you why. Because after last night... Adonis seems to to me like he's sloppy, man. He, when is he going to get it together? Like, he doesn't have fundamentals. It seems like he's not putting things together. Like, if it doesn't go right, it's going to go terribly wrong. Where Kovalev is a worker. He's working to the body. He's coming forward. He's throwing his jab. He's working behind the jab. Adonis is kind of laying back. And I get it. He's a counter puncher. But I'll take the, I'll take the busy B over the float and fly any day. Is Beep still there? I agree with you guys, actually. If Beep is there, nah, Beep will Beep fucking tell you that. If you, go, if you go six rounds with Tony Bellew, then something's wrong. Because he should have had Tony Bellew out of there in two rounds. And, uh, you know, Bellew, I've nothing against the guy. Obviously, he's a British fighter. I want him to do well. But he's flawed as fuck. He's flawed as fuck, man. And... Kovalev is just going to... Yeah, but that's what the fuck you guys send over here to represent your country. Then when we talk about it, you guys want to get mad. That's fucking crazy, man. Ah, oh, man. If Stuart, Stuart would tell you, man, Tony Bellew has never been all that. He's, uh, he's a, he is exactly. a bum. Obvious. Well, Stuart, listen, Stuart may not admit it, but Stuart was fucking praising Bellew when, uh, when that Isaac Chalemba fight happened. I didn't that's praise him. It's because you, you, you mentioned him. I would have never one mentioned of the fighters him. that you mentioned who just got knocked out. I can't remember who it was now. Um, come, but I would have never I, mentioned I him. You decided to. You decided to because you think he was something. I didn't say he was anything. Yeah, he isn't anything, is he? <laughs> yeah, he still lasted glad. longer than Chad Dawson, though, didn't he? Six <laughs> rounds <point>. lasted longer. <laughs> Hey, when's the next time we'll see Barker around these parts? He said, for what? For what? That's what I'm saying, man. These well, fucking guys, like, they get a hold of these belts and they just nah, run. It's common sense now. Right. Darren Barker came over to fight Gill in America. Yeah. Granted, it won an American fighter, but it, it was an empty bingo hall. Why is he going to do that when he can fight in London? The other two, fill oh, up the place, know, make I big money. Felix Sturm's give him handed over 75% uh, of the purse to go to Germany. Man, oh, so he's oh my God, I'm running to get cheated, man. Hey, it's like oh, my God, I'm running to get like cheated. Beep it's like Beef's head. You go where the money is. Nobody wants to know where the money is. Peter Quillen. That, that, that is it. 
And Stuart, he can't you know be. Else? He you can't be cool. It's no point. I, I, I agree. He should just stay in England and fight those guys and get as many time defenses. Nah, and can't be. They were talking. You know what? You gotta listen to now. Fights like this. 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 Like I, I don't. I don't think that uh, I Barker Gilles definitely Gilles. beats Rosado. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Like, I believe Daniel Gill beats Gillen. He's, he's a good boxer. You people are forgetting the guy spent <coughs> spent a long time out of injuries, come back, had a had a, a small training camp, and fought Martinez and give a good account Barker, of himself Barker for eleven started, rounds. Man. And he's a much Barker better fighter now. I mean, Daniel Gill's no mug. I mean, that's Yo, a good Rosado, win. For... Rosado would beat the shit out of Darren Barker. No, he wouldn't. Like how many Barker. defeats has Rosado got? No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. I like Darren Barker, man. That's a, that's a guy I want to fight in the last three years. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. Rosado would beat the brakes off of Darren Yo, he would, he, would... He, would, he would beat the queen out of Darren Barker. No, he, he couldn't wouldn't. beat the brakes <laughs> off the bicycle with a hammer in his hand. Yo, my friend, Darren Barker has not fought anybody who he's beaten that's worth of note besides Gil. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Like, that, you, that, you that, that's, a, that's a big if note. Could, right I, could, I could fight all the best fighters in the world, but if I got knocked out in every one of them, what does that make me? It, it, it makes you a better competition. It makes you better competition. It makes me. It makes you better competition. If, if Rosado can't beat Jay, Jay Leon Love, then he can forget about Darren Barker. Well, he beat Jay Leon Love. Let's not forget oh. that. He beat Jay Leon Love. Well, the yeah, and, 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 and he was doing and he was doing damn good versus Peter Quillen. Let's not forget that. That was a bogus ass stoppage. Dude, Quillen's got his flaws. Which B Quillen's made it clear <laughs> that the cut was excessive, but it doesn't matter. He was beating. He was beat. He was coming on to Quillen at that time. I still had him. I still had him losing the fight, but I, I'm not gonna. I, I'm gonna give him credit for that fight because he, he he made some good. He made a good showing in that fight, so I gotta give him credit for that. Yeah, but, but I think yeah, that, I understand, I think me, that but like I said, losing, give give him a good account of and losing all the time doesn't make you a yeah, great fighter. Yeah, but fight, losing but to better to fighters than Darren Barker has ever fought. <laughs> You're not bad. Daniel, say, Gill, Daniel Gill's better than Rosado. Have a word with yourself. Again, how many times you want me to give you credit for Daniel Gill? I said Gill. Yeah, I said and he's, fighting, he's fighting Felix Sturm in Germany. That's a hard fight. <laughs> it's hard because he's going to be in Germany. Felix Sturm, let's be for real. Fucking dudes but older it, than my it, grandma. He beat Oscar De La Hoya. He, he got robbed by Oscar, Oscar De La Hoya in America. But it's not robbed. that Sturm that he's fighting now, is it? Don't matter. So I'm saying you got calling the guy a bum. He's still a, he's still a full time. I didn't call him a bum. Something. I didn't call him a bum. Peter, Peter Quillen's win over 45 year old Winky Wright is better than this fight that he's has with Felix Stern. That, that's a more credible win than this is going to be, even if he beats Stern. I think Listen, that's a good I don't even know he's going to beat Stern. I bet Stern. you they got that one very, 50 very 50 dangerous. At the line. I think. Sure, yeah, he's, he's, he's fighting he would. He's fought Sergio it. Martinez. Um, you know, he's willing to fight them all. He won't fight Golovkin. I know that for a fact. But. I don't um, even know why you bring up Sergio Martinez when Martinez knocked him out while he was fucking blocking a shot. <laughs> he, he didn't knock him out. He burst his eardrum. Get your facts right, man. Man, whatever, man. Yo, he went down like a Jeff Moe girl so after that. We can talk about it. <laughs> Scooby has an answer for anything, man. This guy's hilarious. It was, nah, it was but it's, it's called bravery. You know, no, 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 Stuart. No, don't fucking lie. Before the before he even fought Gil, it was already in the contract that the winner had to face Stern. Not Fucking in England, crazy. it wasn't. It was um, so, Germany, man. Sorry. I was at the fight. There's nothing in that contract that said that fight had to happen in Germany. Fuck well, that's Eddie Hearns' Germany, fault, then, the, isn't the it? The fight was mandatory. The fight was known to both fighters beforehand. He's going to Germany because he's going to make more money. 
Exactly, and he's brave. A lot of fighters want to turn that fight down. It's not about bravery, though. It's not about bravery. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. How is it about bravery when you already knew what the fuck he was getting into? If it's a hey, security, if, if a U.S. Marine runs into an Al Qaeda camp, it's called stupidity, not bravery. Nah, because <laughs> um, Felix Stern. No fighters in England. They are bombs. <laughs> yeah, of course they are. <laughs> Stuart, you're gonna hate James Tony. I hate everyone on this show. I hate you all. Oh, come on, Stuart. You're, you're not serious. <laughs> I'm only joking. But at the end of the day, you know, it is frustrating. It is frustrating. And tell that GQ24 to, to ring in and stop hiding behind his little picture of two hands and ring in and let's hear a voice instead of slapping yeah, me. Yeah, ain't that. Yeah. Man, you got some crazy people be um um on this thing, man. They can tell all kind of shit, man. Oh yeah, man. It is what it is, but it is. What it they is. call me everything, man. They them motherfuckers call me every goddamn thing. I I, I don't even look, look at that. I don't even look at that shit no more, man. I mean, too. It's the internet, man. There's a lot of keyboard gangsters out there. That's why I like it when y'all call in, man. It's good to. You're brave, Stuart. You're brave. You call in with your outrageous UK love in the chat and then you call in and you say it live on the air. That's bravery, not what Darren Barker's doing. <laughs> man, you know, you know, Stork had, had to have some guts to stick up for um for, for the UK, man. He got to have guts, man, because those them, them motherfuckers got some crappy ass fighters over there. <laughs> man, you do got guts, man, to, to, to defend these motherfuckers, man. You do. Said, I, I, I'll, I'll admit, Americans have got some good fighters, but damn you guys are chinny. I mean, do you, you get hit on the chin and you, you, go, you go down like a sack of shit. So I definitely got the skills, but I'd work on the chin guys. Man, man, man. boxing was created over there. You, you would think that y'all would be a little better at boxing, man. You, it was created over there, man. <laughs> your, country, your, your country was created over there. So what's your point? All right, let's talk about something else, brother. Your point. No, Dad's about to run into geography lesson. Hold on, we got some Floyd Mayweather news, man. Floyd Mayweather stuff. Hey, man, y'all, 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 you give, you give, y'all, 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 it's okay, like right. Kazaki, Carl Frotch. Like it's there's a gap there. Yeah, we yeah. can admit that. Oh, you sure? I can admit that. Yeah, yeah. I can. I can admit that. I can admit that. You know, it's like it's like when 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 Lennox Lewis was around. Lennox Lewis was around, but then he wasn't. Like, who was taking his place then? Nobody. Like, it takes some time, and it's okay. You know what I'm saying? I understand that they small. Listen, Eurobum started out as a joke. Is it? I guess people are either getting really <laughs> offensive with it, or I don't know what. But guess what? 17,000 people from the UK listen to this show. So I don't think you guys get that mad that I call you. 17,000? 17,000, yes. I thought it was Euro Trash, not Euro Bombs. No, I call them Euro Bombs. Some of them oh. don't. Some of, I wouldn't call Carl Crotch a Euro Bomb. <laughs> I thought it was Euro Trash. Nah, I wouldn't call Carl Crotch a Euro Bomb. I wouldn't. Yeah, but I just want to say, you know, that shit. You want to buy your road, you little. My house is by your road, trust me. But yeah, you know, but. I just wanted to call and say that, yeah, but great show. Trying to get that podcast up fast, Mr. Right? But yeah, yeah I will, man, me. I will. All right, all right, I'm out. Thanks, brother. Yeah, fuck off. Yo, why are you getting mad at him? He was the one talking about Nigel Ben. No, well, Euro trash and everything. What, what, Euro that trash, that's what it is, it's Euro trash. That's Wood it's saying Euro. that shit. No, you, you called us Euro trash, right? At the end of the day, we come in to talk boxing. Right, you don't know me. My house would buy your whole fucking road, so don't call me trash. Uh, okay, buddy. 
This is getting too personal, man. Yeah, like, yeah you guys, you guys boys. gotta well, learn to respect each other. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I wasn't, I wasn't like calling that. in again. That's that's how I'm getting. That's how it's getting. Dude, because I'm getting so much better. 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 Um, reply I'm to not upset. I, dude, you get more burn time than any average caller. Get out of here with that bullshit. You're the best caller we have, Stuart. You've Mike. been on the show since the very beginning. What do you mean, don't get upset? No, I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm not talking about you and Bieber. I'm talking about the actual opinion. people that ring up. Yeah, you know well, I mean? they're going to get upset because you, you, you're, you're, you're saying what you're saying, like, so they're going to call and the thing to, is, to and defend can themselves. I, get this, I need to get this off my back because it's pissing me off. How What's the up? hell what am I a, a racist by saying Rigandale's a black fighter? Who I mean, said you're racist? You know, because you have you? a butt, butt up between your butt cheeks. I mean, what the fuck's wrong with you people? Who said you're Rigandale a racist? Rigandale's not black. So, I mean, I, I can't, I can't, what is he then? I'll please explain. Why is Rigandale not black? Well, what are you talking and tell, about? And tell Val, just tell him the fucking little leprechaun Paddy to shut the fuck up. I'm sick of him as well. Who? Oh, who is that? Leprechaun. Tell him to shut the fuck up. Oh my god, I'm about to hang up on everyone, I swear, because somebody playing a TV or something in the background. Yo, what's up, Nez, man? Yeah, like, um, yeah, like, I, I was listening to Stuart Little, and it, what, I, I'm going to reiterate his point. Yeah, you see that Euro bumps there? I know we ain't gonna we're going to talk about the box and that Euro thing. That shit, that shit is, get, is, is just played out, man. That shit's uh, played out, it. like. No, it's you all trash now. Y'all not bums, y'all you all trash now. Hear what I'm saying? Hear what I'm saying to you, bro. Hear what I'm saying to you. Our respect, yeah. Like we, we don't come over here like from the UK. Come over here to get abused, yeah. So what I'm saying is that I understand we trying to be sensitive, but it, like it, it's getting disrespectful. Like every time you come over, like, you're all bum, you're all trash. Yo, yo we ain't like it, yo. EJ, yeah. do you realize that cool. I hardly cool. even cool. say yeah, it anymore? No, 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 what, next, next, what I'm saying to you is that understand the end of the day, like, like you said, you, you, you know, you brought up the word. Now people are rolling with every other minute out of their mouth, yeah, out of their bottom lip, they be talking shit, y'all. Yo, you need to keep your yeah, mouth shut. You can't get mad at now me for saying that. It's all Ness's huh? fault. Oh, no, no oh, what I'm saying, EJ, EJ, yeah. EJ, hear yeah. me out. What I'm saying is you can't get upset at me for someone else calling a fighter you're, but they've I, adapted I, 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 the I, word. I, I didn't say I was upset at you. I ain't saying I'm upset with you. I didn't say I'm that. I said with you. You, yeah. you should have followed that word. Guys, guys, from the boxing voice. Euro, that bro, word. Bro. I, I, it's not cool, bro. I'm not, I need to trash. trash. Hey, yeah, you, listen, that? don't get, hey, don't, yeah, yeah, don't get offended when we hit back at you because at the end of the day, we ain't taking that shit, bro. Like, we ain't, know what I mean? Everyone come out with the boxing talk. Let's talk boxing, y'all. Come on, Jay, do you think that, uh, you know, American fighters are that much better than Euro. You old right. trash is a part of boxing. You old trash is a part of boxing. Wood, what is that? Wood, you gotta yo, stop. Let me Wood, ask that question. You got to stop. Let me, stop. Let me ask that question, bro. Like, no, no, ain't, ain't nothing about it. About if, if a guy's a better fighter than a better fighter, then he's better fighter. That's that's all it is, man. So come down to it. Jermaine, like Jermaine Taylor lost against Carl Froch. You know, uh, uh, Kawasaki beat uh, Bernard Hopkins. But you know what I'm saying? Like, Roy, if Roy Jones was fighting um, Kawasaki in, in, in his prime, he would have beat him. You know what I mean? It's just how it is. If the guy's the better fighter, he's the better fighter. It ain't about no color, man. That's what it is, man. But let me let me talk about the Bellew fight, right? I don't know if you covered it, yeah? Yeah, we did. But okay, yeah. Let I me mean, just, it's going to be just... quick. It was only six rounds. No, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, man, look, I, me and Stu, I talked to Stuart Little yeah, earlier on, and I said to you, look, I think he was out, out of his depth, man. Like, Belly was out of his depth. First and foremost, yeah, in my opinion, Chilembe, the Chilembe fight, yeah, it was, I thought Chilembe won that fight. Chilembe should have really been getting that shot. He would have probably got beat up and knocked out as well. But the bottom line is that Tony Bellew, yeah, he got himself in that position, and it was a big class gap. And, and in that day, he tried his best for the UK and then he got knocked out. Fair enough, square, fair enough, and he has to go back to domestic level. But Adonis Stevens is the guy, man. Like, right now, everyone's talking about the Kolo fight, but in my opinion, with that fight, it's a, it's, it's like, yeah, they, they'll take that fight, but for the fire, he's going to go for the biggest payday. But that fight's going to happen, like someone said earlier on. It's going to happen. We're talking about it now. They're probably going to put money on the table. HBO ain't going to waste their time putting both of them on the same card. So that fight's probably going to happen, and, and one of them's going to be... One of them's gonna be shot after that fight, but you know, and later on. So you know, that's that's why I got my take on that. But like, all I'm saying to you is like, end of the day, we come over from the UK, yeah, and we show you respect. So respect back as well. That's what I'm saying, bro. I agree. I agree. Well said. Well said, Errol. EJ, EJ, I just want you to know by you telling them 
not to call you something or so you're gonna have somebody call you. I mean, you no, been on YouTube. That's good. They want you. If they want you, they're gonna get. They, they want. They're gonna get. It. They're gonna get it. Like 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 uh like he's like um uh, Adrian Brogan said. You can't get it. Anyone can get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm saying. To you. Don't think we're gonna. Don't think we're gonna take it. That's what I'm trying to say. To you you want a bomb? We're gonna bomb back on you. Understand I agree. that. I agree. I agree. I agree, I agree. I agree man. I've always been. UK, I've always been the UK, type that every man should stick you. up for themselves. Anyone from the UK? Anyone from the UK? They're bombing on you. We all. We all. Me, Stuart, and any of you. We're gonna bomb back on you hard. That's what I'm saying to you. I don't give yeah, a fuck. Yeah, it's all it's, 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 it's a joke, bro. It's, it's just a joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't know each other, though. Yeah, bro. but the we thing is, it's, it's okay, jokes. But you, you, you Americans are the most sensitive people around. When we have a little joke with you, then the old racist card gets pulled out and everything else. I just got called a racist. But uh, man, you can call me. Any, you can call me anything, it, man. You can give it and be able to take it. That's all we say. All right, all right. You can call right. me anything. All right. I don't want to call you anything. No, I wouldn't do that. No, we have respect. It's only day we come down to respect, y'all. That's what I'm saying to you, though. I'm saying, if y'all gonna say something, we gonna say something back. We ain't, we, y'all, no. We're all here to talk boxing, so let's talk boxing. Y'all keep that Euro bum out your mouths, and we good. We good. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> y'all, we good, man. That's what I'm saying. You understand? All right, all right. I, th I like the UK guys because guys like him and Carl Frotch, you know, they make the fights interesting because of, you know, their extracurricular activities outside the ring. But all I'm saying is just that, you know, not all the, just like our fighters. Not all our fighters are good. Not all their fighters are good, you know? Yeah, exactly. 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 But, uh, man, thanks for everybody who called in. If uh, Let me see. I got to everybody, I do believe. I'm going to get in let Yo, everybody Ness, go and Ness. wrap it up. What's up, Kimo? Do not pull the plug on those Eurobump shirts, man. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Nah, nah, I'll we not, man. South, man. That shit is in the lab. I'll buy one for South. It's, it's not. Yeah, I'll buy one as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll buy one. I'll rock that shit. Sure. Up, I don't man. Like I'm them. telling you, I'm a proud Eurobomb. Yo, you I'll hear buy one too. <laughs> you hear Beeb said, now, nah, I think we should take him off the store. <laughs> yo, Beeb, yo, Beeb, like you're always trying shirts. to leave me out to dry alone. I think we should get rid of that word Eurobomb on the show, too. I don't like it. Let's end this show with the. UK national anthem right now. God save the Queen.